What's up, beauties and handsomes? It's Monday, and it's all about that money. This week, I want to do something different, so I'm going to be telling you all things I wish I would have known about money in my late teens, early 20s, basically the beginning of my financial journey and taking it seriously. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up at the end. Comment down below things that have helped you on your financial journey, things that you've learned. Even if it's something for this video to further emphasize it, to let people know that it works. And subscribe if you haven't already because my channel be popping. Okay, I ain't like that. Because my channel be popping. And welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining this community of beauties and handsomes not only growing physically but mentally and financially we want to be well-rounded people welcome to the clan moving on so my first thing would have to be that you are never too young to start saving okay my daughter is three years old people be giving her money all the time she don't even know how to count money but she has a savings because you know what I do with that money? Even though they'd be like, get her whatever she wants. I'd be like, okay. Money in her savings. She don't know what she wants. So, when she gets older, she will have money. She not going to know how it came together. I mean, until, of course, we teach her about money, which we will. Because she going to have to know about money. And she going to have to know that it don't grow on trees. And that it don't grow on me. Not yet, anyway. Never too young to start saving money. Second one would have to be making smart goals. So goals that are specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. You wanna save money, okay. You got the first part, you're specific. You wanna save some money. If you don't have a specific time frame, uh, a specific amount, you just know you wanna save some money up. Nine times out of 10, you are going to push that to the side. Like it'll be important, but it won't be that important. It's like, well, I'm saving and i mean that's what i want to do so that's what i'm doing one of my financial goals is to personally have saved a thousand dollars by december the 31st of 2020. so it's specific i want to save some money how much a thousand is it attainable absolutely is it realistic for the time frame yeah a thousand dollars in a year that's nothing Learning how to say no to different outings, to different events, even if you want to go, but you know that you have these smart goals that you're trying to accomplish, and that means making some sacrifices, whether it be instead of eating out with your friends four times a month, it's now two times a month. Like, it doesn't have to be cutting it out altogether, but knowing that you're going to have to make sacrifices in order to reach those financial goals, you need to sit down. You're not going to have any money because you're always on go. And when you're always on go, you're more likely to spend more money. Sit down somewhere. Take a, take a step back sometimes. Learn to say no. It's a game changer. It is better to actually have money than to look like money. I have come into a lot of money that I have blown. <clears throat> Saved zero dollars of it. <laughs> and I look good though. I look really, really good. I need to be cute, but also prepare for the future. Be cute for now, prepare for the future. Finding that balance so that you're not spending way more than you're saving. Yeah, the things I'm telling you in this video are very, very simple, but they're so easy to do that they're so easy not to do. Tell your money where to go. If you don't take anything else from this video, Tell your money where to go and don't let your money run you. And I'm telling y'all that from experience, okay? Not knowing how we gonna pay bills. Like, okay, we got 50 on it this time. Yeah, we are gonna have a late fee, but it's okay. We'll just pay the rest next time. Like, that's really how we was operating. Like, that was our regular. So, I'm just gonna leave y'all with that. I hope you found something helpful. Again, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment down below things that you wish you would have known about money. And again, subscribe because my channel will be popping. I'll be having to do that right for y'all because if not, I will start over. <sighs> All right. See y'all next Monday.